Welcome, dear PMI members, friends of the PMI Belgium chapter and people from the press. Yes, indeed, uh, Anja, uh, dear friends, welcome. And we are very, very excited uh, because, in fact, this is the very first uh, launch of our Project Manager of the Year Award contest. My name is uh, Carl Daniels. Maybe a little bit about the background of my name. Uh, Carl, this comes from a Dutch word, which is kerel, and uh, this actually means uh, free man. So maybe this uh, typifies me uh, a little bit. On the other hand, Daniels, this, is, this means the son of Daniel, and Daniel was a prophet who could uh, predict uh, the future. And I was born in 1965, and this was actually the year when uh, spacewalking commenced. A Russian guy, an American guy, they walked into space for the first time. It must have given an, uh, an enormous experience of freedom. And maybe uh, because of the things that I've just uh, told you, maybe it's not a surprise that I started up my own company at a certain moment, uh, focusing on uh, project management, portfolio management, uh, really giving me the freedom to, uh, to uh, create and add value as I would like. It's, uh, it's extensive because this is my core business, so uh, during the week um, I'm continuously working on uh, project management and unfortunately uh, during, uh, during the, the weekend as well, uh, yeah, some time goes into uh, project management, not only uh, working but reading, uh, remaining uh, informed of, of the new trends, uh, things like that. So yes, I do. Uh, during uh, weekends and in the evenings, I, I do read books about uh, project management. I could mention the Project Management Book of Knowledge, which is, well, uh, a very good book, but on the other hand, rather technical. There is another book that I like uh, quite a lot, and this book is called uh, Close Work. It's about uh, management uh, consultancy, and it's about uh, a guy having worked for a big company, uh, introducing off-the-shelf solutions in, uh, in companies which eventually don't work out. People get frustrated. Uh, and at a certain moment, he, he, he doesn't feel well in this organization anymore. Uh, he leaves, uh, he starts on a diving, on a diving trip, and uh, well, he decides at a certain moment not to uh, work in consultancy anymore. Eventually, he uh, turns back on his uh, decision, and he, uh, he starts working for a small company who actually runs along with a customer, uh, generates real results, and, and works operationally until things really uh, get working. And this is a novel, this is not just a theoretical book, but I appreciated that book uh, quite well. Actually, my main motivation was the fact that I just finalized uh, a project, and I always think there's a lot of, in, of benefit in uh, reviewing, doing some lessons learned. So I tried to figure out what went well, what didn't uh, go so well during that project, and actually, the timing was very good, because, uh, well, uh, something like a month later after the, uh, the finish of, uh, of my project, yeah, the Project Manager of the Year Award came along, so I caught two flies at the same time, and this cre also created some pressure for me because uh, the people of the board of PMI are quite knowledgeable, so, uh, well, I was forced actually to, to do a good job and really think through uh, what uh, went well in my project and what didn't go well. Well, first of all, I would obviously be proud. I think this is the natural reaction. Uh, on the other hand, uh, this might surprise you, I would feel a little bit uncomfortable as well. Why? Because it puts in the spotlight one person, but a project is actually a team exercise. And uh, I did this project uh, for a customer and uh, a lot of wonderful professional people that uh, helped uh, uh, drive this project forward and, and, and generate the results. So I would like to, I would try to do everything to involve all those other people as well in the festivities, if I would uh, 